Hello, and welcome to this week's Primo Trades. My name is Stephen Primo. I'm the president and founder of Specialist Trading. And in these brief educational videos that I present each week, I share with you different techniques, tips, and strategies that I've accumulated in my 46 years of trading. And then I show you how simple it is to become a consistent trader by applying them on our PTS Primo charting platform. Now, in today's educational video, I'm going to reveal a favorite indicator of ours that students have told us can really help them enter into a trade before a breakout occurs. But first, let me share with you today's theme, and that's this. It's only when the markets are perceived to have exhausted themselves that they decide to turn. I mean, think about it. One of the main reasons why traders fail and lose money is because you're entering too early into a trade. You buy and it continues to go lower. In fact, it hasn't exhausted itself to the downside yet. Or you sell, you get out, or you go short, and it continues to go higher. It hasn't exhausted itself to the upside. So what we want is a tool that can help us stay out of a trade until it's time for that trade to actually turn and for the stock to turn. And this is where we're going to introduce a great tool, as we said earlier, one of our favorites among our students, and that is the dynamic stop levels. Now, this was originally designed as a stop placement tool, and it's a great tool for any uh, trade you're in to keep you out of trouble and actually keep you in a trade if you're having a winning trade or to get you out before it decides to turn. But we've also found out that there's another advantage to the dynamic stop levels, and that's simply by applying it as an entry tool. And this is something that can really keep you out of a trade before it decides to turn around and then get you in when it does finally exhaust itself in one direction. So we're going to show you how simple it is to apply this tool and how you could have trade a few stocks and markets this week. And everything you're going to be seeing today is one click away on the PTS Primo charting platform. This is the platform I developed with ProTrader Strategies that actually teaches you how to trade. So let's go over to the platform right now and show you how simple it is to apply this tool. Let's look at HKD, all right? This was a big stock this week because it broke out to the upside. But prior to that, the full month prior to that, it had been going much, much lower. In fact, for months before that, it had been really coming much lower. And we see here that the beginning of December, the stock was roughly trading around 18 or 19, and it went all the way down to the $9 level. The trouble with most traders that they fail is that they get in something too early. Basically, they're listening to someone or something else tell them that perhaps there was a double bottom right here. Maybe you should buy right here and then it goes lower. And then maybe that guy in the chat room says, hey, well, we're tremendously oversold. You've got to buy it right now. And then it continues to go lower. So how would the dynamic stop levels help us? Well, let me show you how simple it is on our platform. All you would have to do is come to the green uh, strategy tab right here. Click on PTS Dynamic Stops. And since it's been heading lower, the stock has been heading lower, what we want to do is look to buy. So click on buy and automatically they appear and they're displayed on the screen. So these are the buy stop levels. OK, so as you can see here, they just trail the stock all the way down. This is our proprietary display here, and it's based on market behavior. I know a lot of traders have thought, well, these are just pivot levels here, but they're not really because many times, as you can see in this example, this is not a pivot high. And this wasn't a pivot high either, neither was this. So they just are meant to track using this uh, proprietary uh, concept so that you don't get in too early. Now, the last stop had been generated here at 1387. Let's see what happened yesterday in the week, okay? All of a sudden the stock did break out. Now, a lot of students will say, well, gosh, the stock opened up roughly around 16 and a half, 17. I can't buy it now, it's, it's too high. But according to the dynamic stop levels, as you see here, you would have had an order, uh, a buy stop to buy right here, and you would have purchased it roughly around 17 in the opening. And look what happened. The stock was up 20 points higher. So this tool could have gotten you in on the opening, and you could have had a tremendous trade yesterday, just one day making 20 points as it broke out. Let's look at another market here. Let's look at weekly gold. How could that have helped us here? Well, we see weekly gold had been heading lower. And then all of a sudden in October, November of 2022, it decided to head right back up. Now, the problem is with a lot of traders, they'll see that on this weekly time frame, it starts to head up and they say, hey, we made a bottom. Uh, that guy on TV says gold is going up. So you buy and then look what happens. Weeks later, it's making you lows. Same thing happened here. You say, hey, it bottomed here. It didn't confirm. Uh, so maybe I'll buy it this week and then it's going lower. 
how could the dynamic stop levels help us? Well, let's click on PTS dynamic stop, click on buy once again. And as you can see, they're automatically displayed, automatically generated on our platform. You won't find this anywhere else except on the PTS premium charting platform. So this would have kept you out of gold on a weekly time frame entirely until right here in November of 2022 at 1735, you could have entered and it's off to the races up until January 23. It continues to go higher. Now, as you can see here, it continues to generate these stop placements even on the way up. This way, if you're the type of trader that wants to buy on a continuation type of uh, format where it continues to go with the trend, you could still continue to buy once it trades above these stop levels. Now, one of the main advantages to using the dynamic stops is that it can keep you out of trouble. For example, let's look at Tesla right here. We all know that Tesla has really been going straight down. And that's what you look for when you're using the dynamic stop as an entry tool. You want to find stocks that are going either straight down or straight up. As we see here, Tesla has been going straight down. A lot of traders have lost a lot of money thinking it's bottomed out at certain levels and they'll buy and continue to buy and buy and they'll hold and they'll ultimately, they say, I can't take this anymore and then they'll sell, okay? How could this tool help us? Well, once again, just click it on on our platform, click on buy and you see it's been generating these entry placements here all the way down. So it would have kept you and it continues to keep you out of buying Tesla. Now, the last stop level has been generated at 114.59. So if you wanted to trade this, you could uh, place a stop in there. It's up to you. It's your decision. But that's what the tool is saying, that this is where it will break out at 114.59. Either way, you would not have been in this stock and you would be out completely and you're waiting for it to break out to the upside. Okay. So you see the dynamic stop levels have a lot of uses. You can either use them as a stop placement if you're already into a trade, or you can use them to enter into a trade. And this is why it's fast becoming one of the favorite tools amongst our students around the world. So as we go back to the presentation, remember, you can only find the, the uh, PTS dynamic stop levels on the PTS Primo charting platform. Uh, everything is one click away, designed to be simple and easy and designed for you not to have to worry about where these levels are. It's already all, automatically uh, auto generated on the platform for you. Now, as we close here, if you have any more questions concerning the dynamic stop levels or anything concerning the platform or the many strategies or other methods we have on the platform, please don't hesitate to contact Pro Trader Strategies. I would highly recommend giving them a call at area code 310-598-6677. The trading consultants can talk to you about price or talk to you about data or the platform or tech, uh, tech support. Uh, they're also very flexible. There's absolutely no obligation. They're there to work with you and they can uh, give you any more information you'd like about pricing and even discounts. As we take one last look at our disclaimer here, I just want to thank you for watching this brief educational video. I hope you learned something about our dynamic stop levels and I hope you decide to become a student of mine in the dynamic stop level course. Thank you so much for watching Primo Trades. I'll see you at the next Primo Trades video. Bye-bye.